What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Um, sorry I've been away for a little bit. I got sick, had the flu, really uh, kicked my ass, and I got behind on some work, so I got all that caught up. Now I'm going to resume these videos. And I don't know if it's because I'm close to a meet or if I just hate this fucking question so much, but I'm really pissed off about it. And um, I'm probably going to use some bad language, so if you're at work, turn it off. And um, I'm not going to apologize for what I say because it's what I believe. And I think it's something that's fucked up this sport for a long time. So here's the question. Brandon, should I change my nutrition the week of the meet? And should I cut weight trying to hit elite? Well, let me ask you something here, buddy. If you've been strong your whole fucking cycle, and you've hit all the numbers that you want to hit, if your training has been spot on, why the fuck would you change anything? Period. Why would, why, I mean, why would you change anything? If what you've been doing is working, what in the hell do you think is going to miraculously happen in a week that's going to make you so much better? Do you think eating a Wendy's cheeseburger for 10 weeks and then switching to bison burgers the last week is going to make you that much better? No. Just do what the fuck you've been doing. Um, you're probably going to, if you change something up like that, you're probably going to upset your stomach and fuck yourself up. The other thing is elite. I understand that when I was coming up and I was trying to get my elite total, what that meant, and it's just a bullshit standard. I mean, I'm sorry because I know how hard some of you all work to get to that number, but in reality, I say it's a bullshit standard for this reason. What do you get? Does somebody mail you a pro card? Does somebody, like, put you on the news because you hit elite? No. So, let's say I'm a let's say I'm a 220 lifter, and I'm going into a meet, and I don't even know what elite is at 220, but let's just use an example. Let's say I weigh 225 my whole training cycle, and I cut down to 219, and I total 1820. Well, what if at 225 I would have totaled 1850? You left 30 pounds on the platform because you cut 6 pounds of body weight. That's probably an extreme example, but that's what I'm saying. Why would you give up pounds on the platform to make a weight class and to get a distinction that no longer has any meaning? Pro total? Pro powerlifter? What the fuck does that mean? You know? There's only two or three guys making true money from competition. That's it. I mean, there's not that many guys getting paid because they win a competition. So professional, elite, those distinctions mean nothing. So why the hell are you going to add a stressor to an event that's already stressful? Why are you going to do something that could be a detriment to your total? Just do what you've been doing all along and keep course, and you'll get better. You know, if you want to hit elite, get stronger at your weight class where you're comfortable. Stop these 10, 15-pound weight cuts that fuck yourself up I've seen it too many times. I've done it too many times. You know, it's one thing if you're two or three pounds over and you're cutting weight. You know, you can just basically stop eating the night before weigh-ins and you'll make weight. But these guys are hit, are cutting 10, 15 pounds to make weight classes when they're already strong 10 to 15 pounds heavier. I don't get it. I don't understand it. The guys that should be cutting weight are guys that are going for world records. And I don't mean the bumfuck federation world records. I mean fucking world records, all-time world fucking records, the ones that matter. Um, it, come to me and tell me you're a world record holder in my division, and you, you squat less than I do, or you bench less than I do, or you deadlift less than I do. How the fuck is that? You're, you're a world record holder? Just because I didn't compete against you, maybe. You know what I mean? The all-time world records are the only ones that matter, period, in powerlifting. You want to talk about distinction? Get one of those world records. I'm a world record holder in three federations, and I could give a fuck about any of them, period. So, anyway, the next thing on change, hey, Brandon, um, I'm on the 531 method, and I just came off a meet where I hit a 40-pound total PR. I'm thinking about changing to the cube. Why? You just hit a 40-pound total PR with a great system. Oh, well, I'm going to run the cube for 10 weeks, and then I'm going to switch to 531, and then I'm going to switch to uh, lift, try, and bang, and I'm going to do this. How the fuck can you know what you're going to do until you've done it? Stop changing what's working. That's what's wrong with the sport. Too many people can't, they cannot wait for delayed gratification. They want it all right now. Make a plan, stick to it, hurt feelings. Fuck your elite, fuck your pro, just get strong. 